Void versus Elegant unless it had the chance to go to game five. Certainly, this is just the stage is set for another classic yeah. set. There's going to be a ton of Joker play. I think I s assume Void's going Joker here, and I yeah. know Elegant has the practice not only from his constant sets against against Eon, but also from some out of region sets down in Texas. Yeah. So. We'll have to see how Void either plays this matchup similarly to the Jokers he's faced before, or varies it up. Yeah, and these they're both coming off some incredible sets so far. You know, Void, uh, in his last set versus Charlie the King and went in his quarters, you know, he kind of got rocked game one and then ran over Charlie for games two and three. And the same thing with Elegant, where he had a tough game one versus, uh, versus AC. And then on game three, it looked like things were real bad. And then he got a couple of openings and was able to bring it all the way back. So both of these are going to be very explosive. Right, both of these have been pushed to their limits earlier in this bracket. They do not want to go home now, but it is going to be the Luigi and Joker to begin this. All right, hopping into game number one. I'm, I'm really excited to see because I don't feel like I've gotten to see these two characters do get out very often. I don't either. It's not a matchup you see every day. Not every region has a Luigi player. Joker, of course, a tiny bit yeah, more I mean, common. But what, what other region has the Luigi up to elegance level especially? But it looks like we're going to have a bit of a hand warmer right now. It's been rather, rather chilly here in SoCal recently. Yeah, there's been a lot of wind going on. It's been, you know, December weather for SoCal, so cold but not freezing. We're, we're finally starting to get a winter out here in the middle of December now. It's taken halfway through December, but yeah, it's finally happened. First cold week in months, but... I don't know why it's so funny seeing uh, uh, Luigi get stuck like in the stage right there. It's just really comical, especially with the spring sound effect. It's, it's just a everything boring. about this character seems like he shouldn't be good. He should just be the joke character, mm -hmm. and then he's good. But I guess that's clear. Like this even game, his so. animations are just so slapstick. They're very yeah. They're just they're meant to be funny, and there's no way they should work. But string it together, and you have a really good character. As Elegant has managed to show us over the course of this entire game. All right, so hopefully we'll be hopping into game number one here on Town and City. I like the I like the stage trick for the both players, honestly. Uh, Luigi is pretty good on flat stages, uh, and I'm assuming this he's not going to get FD uh, because Void's going to want some platforms to try and avoid the grabs on. But this is probably going to be his next best option. Yeah, at the same time, the high ceiling might be a bit more difficult to get some upbeat kills off of, but with that narrow path for the blast zone, you can get some back airs a lot more easily both on Void and Elegant's perspective. Yeah, I mean, the backer is going to be a huge thing for Void, especially when he gets our Sen. When he's able to get, you know, his hits, it's going to kill Luigi incredibly early. The Dare is going to be incredibly useful against, you know, his super telegraph moves, as well as the Arsene counter. Especially if you can catch him without a jump. But speaking of this, we're going to see Elegant start a grab combo, already getting Arsene out within 30 seconds. Yeah, and like we were saying, the Arsene comes out, and that's when Void really starts to turn up right there. He gets the Void Smash for Elegant, using the invulnerability frames on his Cyclone to get him out of the situation. Void facing backwards at the ledge. You know he wants that back air. Right, looks for the fair one, but he does not find it. Just facing Elegant out, and now Arsene is gone. Looks for the tick grab with the double jabs, but he doesn't find it. Interesting DI, but he's not dead yet. After that end frame on that. Oh, excellent tech from Void. Even though he messed up his punish and expected to kill Elegant there, he was still prepared to tech it. That's incredible from Void, but a good roll read from Elegant is going to seal out the stock with the up smash. Yeah, it just got cornered there, although he does get the drag down up air. Not going for the down smash afterward. Oh, here comes the damage. No, he has too much rage to get the downer after the down throw. Void is just going to attempt a ledge trap and Elegant finds his way off the ledge. Is there into the dash tag? Again, just, it's so comical to watch, but here we are. Elegant ledge trapping Void gets the consistent down tilt two frames. And even after missing the two frame that time, Void just hung on the ledge and at 104, that time Tetracrons to break it, but had just so little invulnerability that he had time to throw out another one. He spent his entire time with Arsene on the ledge. You know, he wasn't able to use it whatsoever, aside from the one Tetracon. There's the Dare. 
Zero percent, though, not gonna kill. Yeah, Arsene has really been a non-factor in neutral thus far. It's helped him in disadvantage to get back a couple times, but Elegant has done a really good job of playing around this character when he needs to. I feel like it's also kind of been a detriment to Void, you know, when he's off stage with the Tetracar and uh, Rebels, uh, Arsene's upbeat is so much easier to two frame. Right. I mean, we saw Elegant get it twice in a row. I Void looking for an incredibly early stock here. He has the Arsene back here, and evens the game up just off that. Excellent patience from Void, just waited at that low level with the back air, but Elegant is gonna regain stage control with about a 50% lead. Yeah, fighting his way onto stage with Arsene Nair right there. Does find some semblance of stage control by an immediate dash track from Elegant, just as a response. I feel like Elegant could have killed him if he reacted to the uh, loss of Arsene right there. Probably, a that would have, been a, would have been a lot of commitment to that just true. go through right there, especially when you're at 80%. Oh, forward smash serves him up at his first L of this set. Elegant taking game number one. Clinical stuff from Elegant. Just put neutral to his back. Made sure that Arsene was nowhere to be seen in the second half of that set. In the second half of that game, rather. And Void just didn't have the answers to whatever this fireball pressure was. A lot of this ledge trapping too. He just couldn't seem to get off. Yeah, I mean it. Every time he got Arsene, Elegant would throw him on stage and then just down tilt the ledge over and over and over and it would just wear down Arsene and Elegant basically never had to fight it. Pretty much. We're going to be going to Smashville for game two. I have to see if the stage choice makes any difference. Of course, the low ceilings will mean the zero to death combo yeah. start there we a go. tiny bit earlier. Elegant getting that within 10 seconds and an explosive start to the set. Into the second he got game. the spot dodge. If Void did not have his invincibility, he would have lost another stock right there. That's so crazy that Luigi still has that after what happened in the last game. Alright, but gets gunned down and an immediate response from Void. Yeah, quick response with the down guns and Void, that's just, that is the mark of a top player mentality. You never want to count yourself out. Yeah, the fact he was able to brush off that first stock so immediately and get back into this game and now he has the lead. I feel like the down guns are going to be so incredibly important for Void in this matchup. There we go, and immediately a was another one for Void. Yeah, caught him out of the jump for the second time in the first minute, and what looked like an early elegant lead has been completely turned around here. I jabs for Elegant. That's really all he can get. He looks for the two frame, but he doesn't buy it, and now Elegant just in such a bad position. Void able to open him up. The Arsene is taking down. But it's not gone yet. It just like that though. There it goes. He doesn't get the Arsene down smash. That would have killed. That was the difference maker, but elegant no jump. Void basically didn't have her first stock. And then immediately three stocked elegant. Pretty much. You could I think Void got more out of Arsene in those last 15 seconds than he did in the entirety of game one. I would have to agree with you. He just shut him down. Did not just new, in neutral, you have Luigi with some fierce amount of shield options. Yeah. Nair frame six, up air is pretty fast as well, and he just didn't let him get it out. Of course, Arsene's hitboxes are great for poking, but in that instance, it just didn't get anything started. Yeah, I, Elegant, you know, he's a very emotional player. I really hope he's able to shake off that game number two, where he started so strong and then just watched it all go away. If he's able to reset and just kind of find himself in the right place. He can definitely uh, bring this one back, though. Hunting with an air into the gentleman. Oh, and a quick stock from Elegant. I ex like none of these stocks feel like they've lasted more than 30 seconds without someone dying. Yeah, this, this is entire set. This is exactly what we were expecting between these two. I mean, this is just such a fast-paced matchup between the two of them. Joker can make some interesting counterplay happen, but. Elegant now showing that he's willing to make these commitments that he didn't do earlier in the set. All right, fair into the Zero, gets the grab afterwards, down throw into the backer, that's so much damage onto Elegant, and, or onto Void rather, Elegant playing clean right now, saying game number two, never heard of it. And not only is it damage onto Void, that Rebellion gauge is pretty much depleted. Void barely had anything to do with it, that down gun's just gonna be that's Only a the smash punish. Yeah, the fruits of his labor not really paying off. Elegant looking for the downer, but the tether recovery can be difficult to catch. All right, does he still have his jump? 
he does. Interesting right there from Void, not able to react to the immediate uppy after the misfire. Yeah, Elegant has to be very thankful that the misfire didn't land him directly into the side of the stage there. He was just low enough to the point where that wouldn't happen. All right, the back here gonna force Elegant away. He can't get the down here though. And just like that, Elegant is back on stage, runs up and down smashes as a punish for the missed grab. Elegant now up three stocks to one. Void unable to get the drag down upper does on the second time. Down throw, here we go. No, he full hops. Crucial error right there for Elegant. Something we don't see too often from him is dropping these combos. Yeah, rare miss input from him, but no matter, he'll still be combo breaking with the Cyclone as usual. Like, rolls through and gets the foe smash punish. Down air, is he gonna get the drag down upper? He is, but only goes for the grab instead of the, perhaps what would've been a hard read on the F smash. Oh, and a bit late on the Tetracron that would've definitely sealed out Elegant's stock, but Void not able to make it connect, but he has brought this game so much closer than you would expect. Almost able to get this. Dare into the back here, and that's going to almost do it. Not quite. Still living. Manages to air dodge around the Zare as well. I, that's a bad air dodge from Void, though. Elegant able to punish with the dash attack. That's going to actually kill soon for some reason. Waiting for him to land for the Cyclone this time. Elegant's been going for the double jab a lot into the forward smash, but Void not able, or not running into it, thankfully. The back throw is going to do it. Sitting at 123, but his Rebels meter is so full. One more hit, that will do it. Now he has the big, scary red man online. Yeah, Town and City's high ceiling saving Void there, but I have to imagine that another Cyclone, even if it's not on top of the platform, might be the end of it. And now Elegant still has to play incredibly carefully because these are sent backers can close out the stock so fast. He gets the dare one, but not the second hit. He couldn't follow it up with an up smash because of that. But the rebellion the just saved his life. Yeah, but that rebellion gauge is just going to be empty, and that's a huge sigh of relief for Elegant. Still about 80% in the lead in the driver's seat here. Yeah, but one good edge guard for Void. The guns could do it for him. Nair into the Cyclone will be the game. Elegant goes up 2-1. to one. Carries him off the top, and Elegant playing as if that game two never happened. Just showed his composure, especially in the face of Arsene in that final stock. Kept throwing out the Zares, sticking to the game plan, and eventually got the Cyclone confirmed. I'm really curious what the pick is going to be. Are we going to go back to Smashville? It was very dominant for Void on there, um, so it won't really surprise me. Uh, but I'm wondering what's going through his head right now. No, it's gonna be back to back to back land. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna be Luigi versus Joker. Void sticking it out right here. Yeah, this platform layout perhaps a bit more favorable for Elegant as we've seen. Those drag down up airs are only going to be good when that middle platform is there, which isn't 100% of the time. Right, he gets the fair into the up tilt, not going to be able to get damage after that, but a great near into the grab. Elegant able to break it, or break Void's combo with the Cyclone, though. That time with a lift dash attack, and that'll be an easy opportunity for Elegant to get the throw combo into the back air. Oh, and no. The super jump punch out of shield, just a quick read, gets it raw. Yeah, I mean, when you do get up attack against shield like that, it's so easy to just press up the yeah, shield. You don't have to even jump cancel or anything anymore uh, like you did in the previous games. This time landing with Ariel. Wait, once again with his back turn, so they telegraphed some of these back airs are, but Elegant is going to find a way out of the corner with the Cyclone. Right, gets the fair one drag down up here. Goes for the back throw afterwards. And he 
We've seen Elegant for some of these dash attacks, a lot of the multi-hit moves that he's had. Of course, those are the best for depleting Arsene's meter. Oh wow, he actually doesn't get that. He goes for the down throw into the upbeat, but the town and city blast zone keeping Void alive. That time just manages to dash attack around the tether grab attempt. Instant Cyclone after the neutral gap is gonna punish any sort of attempt Void had at ledge trapping. All right, a back air, oh, pun great punish on the up smash. Void sitting at 111, Elegant still with a commanding lead here and waits for him to make an opportunity, wanted the roll read in with the up smash. Detail, he goes to the up air, but it's not going to connect. Dash check, does that kill? Almost. Yeah, we saw the sparks, but not quite. Void is out of a jump, so has to find a way around this edge guard and does so beautifully, but back into the fire. All right. Elegant looks for the pivot grab at zero that may have sealed out the game, but he does not find it. Able to land with the Cyclone, but now he puts Void out of the kill percentage. Off grab right now. This tech always going to get this another gentleman. I feel like we're not seeing Void go for the uh, guns so much as we did on the Smashville game. No, we certainly don't. And part of that is just the sides of the stage being covered by those higher platforms. But a lot of that is just to the point where Elegant's adapting and Cyclone off stage actually putting him back into disadvantage. But Void finding wow. his way back. And that will do it. Vo Elegant gonna wait out our set on the spawn platform. Very smart choice. Goes for the dash attack, does not find it. Both of these dash attacks do cross each other up, so Void attempting to make that calculation. I feel like Void really needs to start punishing these Cyclones. I know he's like attempting it, but it's hard. Elegant saved his jump that whole time. Up smash catches the jump, but it's not gonna kill. Good DI from Void. 126%, the dash tag almost killing off the side as well. He has to play this perfectly if he wants to bring this game number to four back and take us to a last stop, or last game. That Rebellion Gage nearly full, but has to survive until it comes out. No oh, easy feat against Elegant's pressure. He has our send coming soon. He looks for the back here, but he doesn't find Elegant. Goes too low and void. Well, that's a big sigh of relief right there. An uncharacteristic mental lapse from Elegant, and Void was just down that entire time after the first stock, but kept fighting back, punishing what he needed to, not overcommitting, and fortunate enough for Elegant to make a mistake there, but by yeah. hook or by crook, he's gonna get rewarded. He, um, honestly, if I'm Void, I'm taking a breather between this saying, man, I barely got that game. I need to take. I need to figure out what to change here. Well, for one, I would start with the stage. You could see Elegant just showed his dominance on Town and City in both games one and game three, and would have in game four if not for that SD. Yeah. We are going to see the switch to PS2, so at least some semblance of a game plan switch coming out here. Yeah, I, I think I feel like one of the things Void is really good at is just resetting himself, taking that breath and going back into a calm state where he can play the game, play his own game. Mm -hmm. um, Elegant, on the other hand, is kind of the opposite, where he's really good at playing with momentum and when he gets the fire going, he turns all the way up. But he has, but when he loses things like that, it can be kind of difficult for him sometimes. Yeah, as you said, Void very much an anti-momentum player. He's not one to get steamrolled particularly easily. And even when Elegant is getting one stock, as we saw in the prior game, He's not capitalizing too much. Void is just playing so defensively and so counter-aggressively. So many buttons from Elegant here at the ledge. He's finally able to get the jab. Dare into the Cyclone, not gonna kill. Good DI from Void. Hits it back with an air, and that second air, Elegant just waiting with his back turn. Again, these double jabs into the F smash, but they haven't connected. Here we go. Void finally falls out with that 67% onto Elegant. And honestly, if you get hit with that, you're just kind of annoyed that it happened to you, right? Yeah, I mean, 30 damage, of course, nothing to sneeze at, but some of the emotional damage and the fact that you're not going to want to land on that platform ever again when Void's under it, that may be the more lasting impact. Exactly. A 
dash attack, though. Gonna be the first stock for Elegant. And immediately retreats to that right ledge. Alright. Single jab, but here we go. Void looking for the drag down once again, but he's not going to find it. Elegant kind of thinking his lucky stars right there. Hunting for some of these F-tilts. That really hit him? That's crazy. That time Elegant going past the ledge with a Cyclone. Although those multi-hits really just feeding the beast that is Arsene. Oh, aggressive option right there from Void. I'm sure Elegant wasn't expecting that, but the second Arsene's out, he gets the instant back air, looks for the fair one, but he doesn't get the drag down after, and the up air won't kill. Void just going for the Tetragon on stage, and Elegant smartly going past the ledge, not attempting to get directly back. Good tech, but he doesn't get the tether. Elegant up three stocks to one here on game number five. Yeah, that's a really just uncharacteristic air from Void. We saw him had a life-saving tech in game one, unable to repeat the feat here. I mean, he got the tech, but just because he lost our ascent, he was at a position where he couldn't go for the up beat. Right. Finally taking the stock with a down air, but an entire stock down. Elegant commanding lead here and still playing ever the same game plan he has to the entirety of this set. Elegant trying to find an opening. He gets the down throw. There's the dares. 63%. Here's Arsene. Void has to play this one so smart. He has to make the most out of his Arsene. Void getting the back air, putting Elegant at 66. Have to see if he goes for a hard commit with the F smash or perhaps this continued neutral play. Up throw. Waits it out. Doesn't find the forward air though. Down throw, is that going to be the uppy? No, he reads the eye away, but reacts with the back air as well. Perhaps. Really good stuff from Elegant. Yeah, you know he wants to keep that cycle and just as fresh as possible for moments like these. A back air catches the air dodge through him. He's one good trade away from winning this game. Rebels Guard brings out our send. Actually falling out of the Cyclone too. Void sitting at 140, knows that one Cyclone, one good hit, but the F smash from Void. All right, if I'm elegant, I'm waiting up here as long as possible. I don't want Arsene to find some way to kill me early. Yeah, any trade such as that one is a beneficial one, but if it's gonna leave if him he, vulnerable, oh. it carried him off the top. The thing is, if he missed, if he didn't get hit with the Cyclone and got dared, he, or, and Void got the dare, he won the game. Right. He knew what he had.